Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is August 21st and right now we're looking at the water vapor loop. You can kind of see the clockwise rotation allowing for this moisture to start to move into the region. Precipitation chances will start today across some of the higher terrain of Southern California. Then the chances will increase and then move up north across the state all the way up into Oregon, across Nevada, and a lot of California as we go on in through this week. And we'll take a look at those details, and we'll take a look at something fun in the extended forecast here as well. Now, lightning strikes last 24 hours, nothing yet, but this is going to change over the next few days, northeast Nevada, and a couple storms across Arizona are all that shows up here. And of course, if you see some smoke out there, some hazy skies, there is some smoke drifting around, but definitely not as bad as where we can be at this time of year. So we've got to be grateful for that. Drought monitor is new today. It looks like there aren't any changes here that I uh, checked. I just briefly went over things here uh, across the state of California. Nothing new here. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens after this monsoon moisture spends a week across the region. Now, 500 millibars, 18,000 feet. There is our ridge. It is in place right across the four corners. And you can see the wind moving around that. And the clockwise rotation allows for that monsoon moisture to come back up over the area. And as you can see, that ridge is not going anywhere in a hurry. We go all the way on in through Saturday. We're now moving on into Sunday. The ridge is still in place, all the way extended up towards Western Canada. And that's going to be with us as we go on in through next week before we finally start to change things up. But there's something interesting showing up towards the end of the run here that I'm going to show you the artificial intelligence model here in a moment but first things first one more look here you can see the monsoon moisture move up across california nevada all the way up into oregon as we go through this weekend and on to the early portion of next week now extended period of heat and fire weather so downtown los angeles getting pretty darn right warm these are approaching record highs you can see the guy with the shirt off riding the bike out there might not notice any difference on the santa monica boulevard but you know you get away from the coastal areas look at pasadena over 100 degrees santa clarita woodland hills palmdale and if you get back towards Santa Barbara and Ventura, you can see it's not so warm. So there's you can always go to the coastline to beat the heat unless you're dealing with some stronger offshore wind. So this is not that kind of setup. But you can see, except for the immediate coastlines, we're dealing with heat advisories, extreme heat warnings. There's some red flag warnings as well. So we got to watch out for the fire danger as we go for, through the next few days. So Saturday's chance of precipitation. Look at San Diego National Weather Service, so Big Bear Lake, two out of three. Some chances for some of the lower elevations some of these storms could drift closer to some of the foothill areas there and you can kind of see lake Ellsdor at 16 percent riverside about 15 percent but definitely the better chance across the higher terrain palm springs almost 50 50 look at joshua tree about 60 percent ludlow 64 percent and also other places across the state are going to get pretty darn right warm. I, I think that data is off right there because I think this was issued this morning. But you can see, look at like Big Bar, 111 degrees. Some of the interior areas are really going to ramp up this heat. Look at Lakeport, 102, 104. Yeah, pretty darn right warm. Weaverville up over 100 degrees as well. And this goes all the way on and through Saturday at least. And again, the heat advisory, except for the immediate coastal areas, does include much of the I-5 corridor, you know, Sacramento Valley northbound. So here we go with total precipitation in inches. And I'll show you something interesting that showed up today on the artificial intelligence. So first things first, today, look at that. You can see some precipitation popping off there a little bit. That could be thunderstorm activity up across maybe, you know, just to the east of Los Angeles and some of the high terrain there peninsula range and you see some thunderstorms across arizona now let's go on in through the day on friday there we go you see that move up across the sierra nevada increased coverage there across some of the desert areas transverse range getting included there as well that's friday afternoon now let's go on in through saturday boom you see the increase of precipitation all the way up lake tahoe Northeast California, and again, another round of thunderstorms here for the higher terrain of Southern California and Central California, this year in Nevada. We go through Sunday, again the increase, one, two, three, four, Monday, Tuesday, you guessed it. And then watch what happens as we start scrolling off in through Wednesday. Look, at what is this big blob? This big intrusion from the south there, that is a tropical system bringing some of its moisture northbound. And look at the path that last night's control run wanted this to take. It just inundates San Diego there with the remnants of a tropical system. Some heavy rainfall showing up there. And of course, at this range, we're going to have huge disagreement within the models and the ensembles and whatnot. But it's kind of interesting there. 
It has been hinting at this at times. So this is something we're going to watch over the next few days. That would definitely be a headline maker as this would bring some heavy rain all the way up across the desert areas towards Nevada as well. But look at that up over an inch and a half for San Diego, maybe just clipping Los Angeles as well. And again, a long way to go here. This could be erased over the next day or so in the model runs, but we'll be watching it closely. And I'll show you this a wider view, Hawaiian Islands bottom left. There's the west coast of Mexico. There's Baja here and of course, California. Put this into motion. Watch down here for the little ripple the tropical storm development so we put that into motion there it goes there's that system on last night's european artificial intelligence watch it take that right turn move up the coastline and then bring its very rich moisture back up into southern california and don't be fooled by the sea level pressure going off this would bring a lot of precipitation with it if this were to happen as we go through the end of the month so if we take a look here at the Hurricane Center, we go to Eastern Pacific. What do we have here? Disturbance number one, 30% chance of cycle information over the next seven days. So you got to do your homework and your detective work. You got to check all available sources. And you can see that we do have the potential for that system developing there. You notice how they have it turn into the right a little bit. So some of the models are showing this. Some of the ensembles are showing this as well. You know, of course, the track is going to be different. And we'll be watching that here very closely over the next few days. Now the heat. This is today, Thursday. August 21st. Look at this. Northern Sacramento Valley, 107. Desert area is very warm. Again, except for the very immediate coastline, we're ramping up these temperatures or across some of the Sierra Nevada. Now we go through Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We start to get that gradual cool down. And the fly in the ointment here is going to be what kind of cloud cover are we going to have across some of the region? That will suppress some of the temperature. So these highs are going to be pretty tricky to forecast over the next few days. We go through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. The gradual cool down continues as we go on in towards next weekend. And as you can see, that's Saturday, August 30th, and we're back down out of the hundreds for a lot of the valley areas here. And we've cooled down a bit across some of the foothills and places away from the coastal areas of Southern California also. So today you can see downtown Los Angeles, you know, starting to warm things up here. And once you get across the interior areas, it gets very warm. You got to be right on the immediate coastline. The marine layer is just completely squashed. It's almost non-existent out there. But this is not a strong offshore wind event here that will bring the very warm temperatures out towards the coastline. So we, again, go through Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. You can see the gradual cool down as we go through next week. And again, there's going to be clouds about with this monsoon moisture and some of this thunderstorm activity. So we'll make it the forecasting some of these temperatures very difficult. Difficult. Now, this is downtown Los Angeles. This is the European, and you can see these would be record temperatures here for downtown uh, LA. And, and uh, again, you see the gradual cool down as we go through this upcoming week. But yeah, very warm temperatures indeed. Here's Sacramento International Airport also. And you can see the gradual cooling trend through the trend through the extended, but you know, not a lot of relief here. Maybe a little bit there Sunday, Monday, and through next week. Again, it depends on the cloud cover across the area. And again, there's Sacramento here, and you can see the difference between some of the coastal areas right along the immediate coast versus versus if you drive a couple hours inland and then you go Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and you see the gradual cool down. So this is Las Vegas. You can see multiple rounds of monsoon moisture potential here. You're looking at probably that starting up on Friday, then there's gonna be potential Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, you know, all the way on in through next week. So again, ensembles are kind of all over the place, but definitely hinting at this precipitation potential. Same thing for Palm Springs as well. Probably chances starting best tomorrow, Friday. And again, multiple rounds as we go on on in through this weekend and on in through the early portion of next week. Here's downtown Los Angeles. And this looks to be that surge of moisture that would be moving up with that tropical system. You see some of the ensemble members hinting at some of that precipitation coming up here. So we'll be watching that closely. San Diego, you can kind of see control run what number one there shows some very heavy amounts. So yeah, that would be that tropical system and that moisture moving up from the south. Big Bear, higher terrain, transverse range. Uh, this starts actually today. We start to get some precipitation and thunderstorm chances today. And again, multiple rounds over the next few days. This is Truckee Tahoe. Even areas further north are going to be dealing with this potential for thunderstorm activities. So this is probably Friday night and then on in through this weekend and early next week. Reading, something similar here as well. How much will that you know drift out over some of the northern Sacramento Valley? We'll see. Now, 6 to 10 day above normal here for some of the west coast. And then 6 to 10 day, they got the above normal it looks like they sharpened up their graphics here this is a, definitely a new thing but you see that above normal signal still across a lot of the intermountain west including portions of california as we go through the end of this month 8 to 14 days sometimes i don't even like showing these they're just kind of broad brushes but anyway yeah so we will break everything down again tomorrow definitely some interesting stuff to look at aside from just the monsoon moisture that tropical system what track is it going to take is it going to actually develop will it move towards southern california all good questions we'll try to answer those
videos over the next few days. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. Click like and subscribe. We'll do this all again tomorrow and I will talk to you guys then.